the previous episode of Life is Strange. Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! He called film Whoa. little pieces what of time. What the fuck? But he could be talking about photography. Or have you done something wrong? Talk to me. Hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me. Don't insult me. Max, go on. Hey, leave him alone. Max? Chloe? It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Welcome home, Max. That's Rachel Amber. Her missing person posters are all over Blackwell. Six months ago, she just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Something happened to her. Wait! Is that grass? Tell me the truth. That's an order. I didn't black out. I had another vision. The town is going to get wiped out by a tornado. Max, tell me everything. Let's leave the link to Kate's video so everybody gets a chance to see her in action. You are such an evil biatch. I love it. <laughs> go les fasser. Tout ça pour te remettre en pied. I better get dressed then go give back Kate's. Even if I can stop one person from watching it. It's worth it. Hello? Water? Sorry. I forgot. Oops. Bon, allez. Qui c'est que je dérange? Retournons chez nous. Est-ce que je peux frapper chez Victoria Fine, I won't disturb you. Bon, tant pis. Fine, I won't disturb you. Bon, qu'on s'en fiche. Bon, je vais rentrer chez moi. Ouh, attendez. J'ai vu quelque chose sur mon ardoise. Oh, no fucking way. This is not why I came to Blackwell. And I still have to clean all this crap up after I find Kate's book. Attends deux secondes. I better get dressed and go give back Kate's book. Oui, le livre. No book here. Feuille, feuille. Of course she just spilled soda on Kate's book. I better fix this fast. Kate needs the book and I don't want to add to her list of problems. Be gone, foul soft drink. Allez, rétro. Aha, you sneaky book. You're mine. Good morning, Lisa. Your leaves are lovely today. I may not have a green thumb, but I have a green finger. Bonjour, je parle à des plantes. Du coup, comment je peux nettoyer ça Oh shit. Nathan's revenge. Man, this could almost be art oui. if it wasn't so fucking sick and disturbed. Quel art magnifique. This totally reminds me of being a kid in my room. Sorry, Mom. I can make my bed whenever I want. Booyah. I need oh, to get dressed know, before I go one. there. Maybe I'll just put on a shirt and jeans. Hey, Einstein had the same exact suit for every day of the week. And he couldn't even rewind time. Nico, le message, je ne peux toujours pas l'effacer. Et comme je ne peux pas l'effacer, je me casse. Par contre... Now I can finally take this back to Kate before I'm late. 
as if I have to worry about being late anymore. I do have all the time in the world now. What? Il manque des gens. <rire> Alors, où est-ce que c'est la chambre de Kate Je crois que c'est par là-bas. C'est pas la première. Non, Juliette. C'était là. Ouais, non, Kate, c'est donc celle qui est juste à côté. Ah oui, forcément, c'est celle où j'ai effacé l'air de Kate, tu es là J'avais oublié. Oui, je suis là. Come in, Matt. Ouh. Kate est tout seul à faire avec cette vidéo de merde. J'espère que sa mère ne l'a pas déjà fait. Ouais, on va voir. Kate's art is perfect for a children's book. Everything looks so fun. Why did she cover up the mirror? She can't look at herself? Mm -hmm. Almost forgot what Kate looks like when she smiles. Uh, hey, Kate, I brought your book. Max, why did you step in between David and me yesterday? Je pas le I had no choice. David Madsen is an asshole. You had the choice to not get involved. Nobody here seems to care about anybody. Kate, I actually do care. So, what's the story with you and David? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. Why does he think that? Because he saw the video. You know how humiliating this is for me? I know this sucks, Kate, but... Tell me about the video and maybe I can help. Basically, I went to one Vortex Club party and ended up making out with a bunch of people. And I have no memory of it. It doesn't sound like you. I can't see you partying with Victoria. I didn't. You have to tell me more than that. What happened at the party? Did you drink? I swear to God, I had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Are you sure it was just one sip? I take a sip at church, and I don't end up on a viral video, okay? Did somebody drug you? I remember... I remember getting sick. And dizzy. Go on. Then Nathan Prescott said he would take me to the hospital. Hmm, <laughs> Nathan Prescott? Oh shit. He was being nice for a change when he offered to help me. He's the opposite of nice. What next? All I recall is driving for a long time. And I woke up in a room. I thought it was a hospital because it was so white and bright. Go on. I'm listening. Somebody was talking to me in a soft voice. I thought it was a doctor until I heard Nathan and felt a sharp sting in my neck. And... 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 That's all I remember. I don't know what happened. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. So, who took the video of you at the party? I have no idea. Probably Victoria. She was there being her mean self. Jesus, Kate. I'm sorry. This is serious shit. How do I get a viral video taken down? I know it's already spreading. What if my church sees that? I need to know what to do. Kate, we'll figure it out. I'll check back later, okay? Je vais te filer un coup de main. Thanks, Max. You can put my book here near my bag. Sac, sac, euh, le livre. 
So, Max, can I ask you a question? And please be honest. Absolutely, Kate. Anything. I need to find out if Nathan Prescott helped me or hurt me after that party. Should I go to the police? Yes, you should definitely go to the police, Kate. I totally believe every word you say. Nathan Prescott is truly dangerous. Bless you, Max. I will go to the police, and also Principal Wells. With you as my backup witness, they'll have to take us seriously now. Backup witness? Well, I mean, I believe you in everything, but we're still just spoiled punk students to the cops and faculty. I just think we need to be very careful here. Why? Careful of what? Nothing. Except the Prescotts are a powerful family. I hope this won't backfire on us, that's all. Even though that rich bastard has earned <laughs> some karma. serious bad karma. He'll get it. Comme Deb. Mauvais karma. I'm so sorry. Time out, Max. You actually told Kate to go to the police and the principal. After getting a scary text threat, now the police will definitely drag you into this shit. Tant pis. Rien à faire. Retournons à la Chloé. Qu'est-ce qu'elle veut, Chloé? Est-ce que je peux effacer le message Toujours pas. Bon. Tant pis. Tant pis, tant pis, tant pis. Sortons d'ici. The birds are flocking around Samuel. Hey Samuel, you're up early. Oh, hello young Max. I do love the early morning. Everything is so calm and quiet. And I can feel the animals waking up with me. That's one thing I truly love about Arcadia Bay. It's all those cool animals in the forest. The squirrels always come in the morning. For food, I can hear them whisper. What animals do you see in the forest? Don't laugh, but I saw a doe that seemed to be looking right at me, like it was trying to communicate. Oh, that's your spirit animal. Nothing weird there except you saw yours. Could be a sign about your destiny. <laughs> What do I know? My spirit animal is a squirrel. Hmm. Bien so, Samuel. what did you think about that freak snow shower yesterday? Another message from the Earth to get our shit together. I will say that Samuel hasn't seen anything like that before. I so don't want to get in the way of your morning ritual. See you later. Of course you will. See you later. Alors, où est-ce que je vais aller? Ah tiens. Taylor. Hi Taylor. Hi Taylor. Just because you were nice to Victoria doesn't mean I have to be nice to you. I don't want to fight with you or Victoria. Instead of smack talk, let's just talk. For once. You're funny. Well, I'm not doing anything at the moment, so talk. Why do you hang out with Victoria? She's pretty mean to you and Courtney. And she's bossy too. Look, you don't know her. 
I do. And she's one of the best friends you could have. I guess I've had mean, bossy best friends too. Better than having mean, bossy parents. I would love it if my mom was mean or bossy instead of sick. But whatever. We've had our talk. Taylor. Conversation over. Je peux des preuves. Hi, Taylor. Hi, Taylor. I've heard that your mother was sick. I'm so sorry. What what happened to her? Well, if you do care, my mom had back surgery. Victoria was there for me. Like you are for Kate. I'm not about tearing people down, Max. I know. That's why I wanted to talk. I'm glad we did. Hi again, Taylor. Hey, that wasn't such a bad talk. We should do it again. See you later. Mm, ouais. Bon, tant pis pour la vidéo. On trouvera bien un autre moyen de savoir. Super bien entendu, je vous préviens. Tout un tas de Chantage à l'encontre de mon fils se terminera devant la justice. Considérez ceci comme un premier et dernier avertissement. Et ben allez vous faire voir, je m'en fiche. Max, come on over here. Warren, what are you doing here? Well, nothing. Waiting for a call? I mean, I already took the call. Anyway, I wanted to rap about that action yesterday. By the way, thank you for stepping in. You were pretty badass, Warren. I owe you. Oh, yes, you do. I got knocked on my ass by that dick. I'm some personal superhero. You're a real everyday hero. You stood up to a bully, and it was awesome. Even though you left me with said bully and ran off with that girl, she's pretty punk rock. How do you know her? An old friend, Chloe Price. We haven't seen each other in a while. I bet you were glad to see her blast up in that truck like a rock star. Which begs the question, why is Nathan Prescott getting psycho on you? I busted him in the bathroom yesterday with a gun. I'll give you the story later. Principal Wells is taking care of it now, I hope. Weird fucking week. Like that bizarro snowfall yesterday? Speaking of dystopia, that drive-in is having a 70s Planet of the Apes marathon. Let's go ape! Ouais, pourquoi pas? Yes, that's exactly what I need. I love those old school ape films. Well, that was easier than I thought. Cool, I'll text you the info. David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate. Or Rachel. Hmm. Vite, je vais rater le bus. Oh non, pas encore une musique. Oh, C'est toujours la même en plus. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm going to be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Qu'est-ce que tu veux, William? Bref. Allez, sur ce. C'est devant le Tours Dinner. Là où on doit rejoindre Chloé. Qu'on va s'arrêter. On va s'arrêter juste devant la porte. Allez, sur ce, c'était Cyber. C'est tout pour ce troisième épisode de Life is Strange. On se dit salut à tous et à la prochaine. A plus tout le monde.